Hello and welcome to this quick video about how you can fix this problem that I've just bumped into with my trusty Radio Master TX16S. Now there is a little battery inside here, a little CR1220 battery that's there and responsible for maintaining things like the real time clock. If that battery eventually gives up, and it does eventually, then unfortunately when you power the radio on, you will find that you'll have a date of the 1st of January and the time will be 0000. That's a great indicator that the battery has given up the ghost. But the good news is this isn't particularly tricky to fix. All you need to do is order yourself a CR1220 battery. This type of stuff is typically not available in local stores but you can get them from online retailers i ordered mine from amazon.com and then when you have it you just need to find yourself a little phillips screwdriver and a little allen key to take the back off the radio so the first thing we need to do is to remove the battery just unplug it chance to stick it on charge make sure that it's nice and full take out anything that's in the jr bay as well we don't need to take any of the grips off the back but we will have to take them off the sides in a moment there are four screws two at the bottom and two at the top that need to be removed they are just standard crosshead phillips style screws so just use a small phillips screwdriver to take those out and keep them safe don't forget, while you have the radio down like this, don't put too much pressure on the gimbals. In fact, it might be even better to put something soft underneath, like a folded up t-shirt or jumper. Now, I am using my Squire electronic screwdriver here just to make this a lot easier. I'll put a link down below if you want to go and have a look at that. But once these four screws are removed, then there's only two other screws that we need to take care of. And those two screws are these two at the top, either side of the antenna. Now these are hex style screws, so you're going to need to have another type of screwdriver to pop these out, or some basic Allen keys. And the reason we're removing these is this little plate at the top is keeping hold of a catch that's the very top of the back part of the radio that stops it coming off. So again, I'm just keeping them all safe on this little magnetic stand. So with that done, we now need to remove the side grips. You just need to get your fingernail in underneath and pull the whole thing off. That's just going to help keep it in position. It's probably the trickiest thing to put back in afterwards, but they will go in eventually. Once you've done that, then the clamshell will open, the back will pull off. Use the handle, be very gentle because there is a cable that's going to be connecting to the speaker. And now we are inside the radio and you can clearly see the cell battery here, which is the one that we need to change. All you need to do is pull down on this little gold bar and the cell will pop out. Once the radio is empty, then get hold of the new cell and install it, making sure that you're putting it in the right way round with the writing facing up. Once you've done that, it's just a case of putting it all back together how it was. Replace the back part of the clamshell. Do make sure that you're not catching any wires and that all of the pins that go into the JR bay at the back are threading through. Confirm it's all seating okay. If there's any kind of fighting or it doesn't sit properly, then stop. Once that's done, then pop the top part back on and redo both of those hex screws onto the top. Then that will keep the back in place. With that done, then it's just a case of popping in the four screws that we took out originally, those crosshead Phillips style screws. Again, two at the top and two at the bottom. These are only going into plastic, so don't go mad with the torque. Just make sure that they're hand tight. And then finally, the last thing to do is to install each of the sides. And you might need to have a little bit of a wiggle with those. They will go in eventually. Start from one side and work your way around. Once that's done, then reinstall the battery, reinstall the module into the JR bay, slide the battery cover home, and you're done. With that sorted, then you can turn the radio on, then you go into the system menu, go across and reset your time and date. And the way to test it then is once that's all set and showing on the screen, turn the radio off. When you turn it back on, that time and date is still there. It has remembered. So that's the easiest way to do it. All I would recommend is make sure that you order or have one of the batteries before you start taking the radio apart. That way, when you come to put it all back together, it'll still be fresh in your mind. Thank you for watching my video. Check out the playlist and adding Painless 360 to your search terms will help you find my content. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. You can support the time I spend here answering questions and helping others by using the links in the video description.